Well, in today's health alert, norovirus cases are rising in the U.S., particularly in Michigan and northeastern states. Often called the stomach bug, the virus is the most common cause of vomiting and diarrhea from acute gastroenteritis among all age groups. So our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, joins us now. And Dr. Nandi, can you explain what gastroenteritis is and what we need to look for? Yeah, important question, yeah. right? So norovirus, by the way, Glenda, are a group of single-stranded RNA viruses, and it's the Calciferidae family of viruses. Brian wanted to know what family it was. And this mm -hmm. is the main culprit behind gastroenteritis. Once the virus enters your body, your stomach and intestines swell, becomes inflamed, then this condition is what we call gastroenteritis, leads to those awful symptoms we just talked about, vomiting and diarrhea. Plus, you can also get stomach pain, headache, fever, and body aches. Now, cases have been rising here in Michigan, according to the Michigan Disease Surveillance System. Over the last four weeks, we've had 156 reported cases. 66% of those cases were in the last two weeks. So nationwide, Glenda, recent data from the CDC shows an overall positivity rate of over 12% in tests, up from 11.5% the previous week. However, the Northeast was even higher with positivity rates of over 13% since the end of January. While this sounds concerning, these numbers are actually lower than last year around this time. Of course, that could change as this is a super contagious virus and it's most active between late fall and early spring so we can get bigger numbers. So prevention, is there anything that we can do? And what about possible complications? Yeah, key questions, right? So yeah. norovirus can spread mm -hmm. in different ways. You can get infected by hanging out with someone who has it, by sharing food or utensils, or by eating food uh, an infected person has handled. Also, the virus can be naturally found in certain foods, like if you like oysters or other types of seafood. And since the virus can linger on objects and surfaces for a long period of time, you can pick it up that way as well. So to avoid getting infected, Here's what I recommend. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Pretty common, right? Give your fruits and veggies a good wash before preparing and eating. Cook your food thoroughly, especially seafood or shellfish. And then steer clear of foods, of, of folks rather, showing norovirus symptoms. And regularly sanitize surfaces and, and objects that are frequently touched. Now, what about complications, right? If you get sick, be sure to drink plenty of fluids. Why? Because norovirus infection can cause severe dehydration, even death. According to CDC, over 109,000 hospitalizations and around 900 deaths each year due to norovirus. So if you or a loved one gets sick, be sure to seek medical care if diarrhea persists for several days or if there's any severe vomiting, uh, bloody stool, stomach pain, or dehydration. Lots of people think, ah, it's going to be okay. And they get stuck with the dehydration that you can get complications and end up in the hospital. So get, you know, the doctor right away. Yeah, those fluids are important, as you Huge, tell us all the time. Exactly, and you can get complications from the virus when you don't go and get, get treated right away. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Of course. Good to see you. Thank you. If you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.